Uh, Kyle, what, what was the other game you wanted to touch on? Oh, just Lego Star Wars is is like orgasmic for anybody who liked Lego Star Wars at any point in their life. How much do you love Star Wars? I mean, I just described the game as orgasmic, so I feel like that gives a pretty good. I mean, is, is that because the game's good or is it because you love Star Wars no, and they... the game's good? Uh, yes. Yes. Mm. All the above. Yeah, the, the game is just it's it's good it's it's what, very those, good those combos it's, are pretty cool yeah it's like actually like they really when they say they revamp things to the ground up like the way that people play it's it's very good it's just a good game it's all you need to know but just know kyle going. kyle gives it his sta- his uh his seal of approval um so yeah you, you know it's good um so would you just say like overall compared to like all man there's been a shit ton of lego games over the years how how high of a jump is it compared to like even some of the the more recent outings? It's it's unrecognizably different. Is is it over the shoulder? I, I've seen some gameplay like that. Is it? Uh... No, it's no. In terms of like the way it looks for like how the characters like the the whatever the view is the same. It's just like there are multiple different buttons to push to attack, and if you only push the same one, you're gonna get blocked and countered. Like but, which Lego Star Wars games never had. It was always just attack. Yeah. Right. Like they 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 really have changed the core feel of of what it means to be a Lego game. Yeah, I've, I've been hearing like nothing but good things across the board. Um, I don't think I've seriously played a Lego game since um, Lego Star Wars Two, the original trilogy on a PS Two. Um, that's the last time I gave it like a concerted effort, be like, okay, let's play this game. And uh, w- one of my bigger issues with, with those older games, and like I've kind of like dabbled within some of the newer ones, I've never liked the way they did puzzles in order to advance. Not not even the optional stuff, just like the main stuff. Because um, it's because it's weird. Because you think like Legos, like these are designed for kids, but then sometimes they have these these obtuse puzzles in there. I'm just like, do kids like this? Are they just able to bang their head against the wall uh, longer than I'm willing to? Um, are, are those still like present here, or is, or is it more streamlined? No, there's there's definitely still like some shenanigan puzzles, but I I, I don't know. I don't have an issue with them. So oh, you, you just have a bigger brain, right? No, I mean even as a kid they were never that hard. Well, because as a kid you had a bigger brain. Well, no, but they're Lego games. I mean, they're not so someone games. so someone would have to be a would have to be a big dummy head like me to not be able to play them, right? Yeah, it does sound like a bit of a personal problem. <laughs> I were being being honest here. Yeah, fuck. Uh, what are your political opinions on Star Wars Episode Eight? You can tell a lot about a person based off if if they like Episode Eight. I I like the Last Jedi. You, f- wow, wow, wow. It's okay. It's, I like it too. It's, it's the best of the sequel trilogy. Damn, fucking based as shit right now, dude. What the hell? I don't know if I agree with that, but I think it's like fine. I think it's whatever. It's what? Whoa, 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 Mesa. Why do you hate women, dude? Just. Jeez. Why shouldn't I? Why? Hate why you be a deep t- <laughs> Well, you know he makes a <laughs> makes a convincing argument. Jose, what's your response? Uh, Ryan Johnson made Knives Out, and that movie's real cool. Is that? Yeah. It's just I'm... been um, it's just been a running joke in my friend group that um, to, to say uh, this person likes the casino scene in, <laughs> in the Last Jedi. Oh no, there's there's parts of of the Last Jedi that are not great. For sure. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. but I do think overall the movie's pretty good. I, I wouldn't say that um, episode nine like ruined Star Wars for me. That it feels like melodramatic when it would feel just like, man, this latest movie w- was bad and just ruined the entire um, franchise for me, whatever. But man, I, 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 I'd, I'd be lying if episode nine didn't just put me just like, yeah, no, I think I'm okay on Star Wars right now. No, I, I think See, I'm. So here's the thing: episode nine, like it's a terrible movie. Like, it is. That is an awful movie, but it is the most Star Wars of Star Wars films. Like, really, it is everything about it is just peak Star Wars. And so, if you, you go in knowing that it's bad, knowing that it's gonna do a bunch of gimmicky shit, it's fun to watch. It I is free. I disagree. I honestly. think giant. I think giant portions of nine have the adventure feel that something like something that they like the original trilogy had, where it's just the uh, the. Friends going across the galaxy doing random shit, whatever. Because uh, there's, there's giant portions of four, or five, and six that could realistically be cut out that don't need to be there, but it just adds to like the adventure feel. And I think nine has that. My issue with nine would just be like the main narrative. I'm just like, yeah, no, I, I don't vibe with this. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't and, vibe uh, with Palpatine yeah. fucking. I, I don't want a universe where Palpatine fucks. Well, he didn't. He he didn't fuck. He cloned himself. 
They established that. No, he fucked. They established for sure. that he, he no, has they kids. Established, they, yeah, right. They very clearly established that he did not fuck. He did fuck. What are you talking about? It was very clearly established that it was a failed clone of him. No, you're talking about Snoke. No. I'm talking about like Ray. No, is, I'm is... talking about his son. They, it's a, it's not. I don't think they say it in the movie, but it is established in canon that like that that kid is a clone of his. Where, where is where is that established? Is that a book? I don't read books. I'm, Wait, I'm not a nerd. So wait, you didn't just throw his seed into space like they did for Anakin? Didn't they do uh, it like in a comic that like Palpatine like force willed Anakin into his mom? Yeah, the Emperor Palpatine's son yeah. was an artificial strand cast clone from his genetic template. It was it was that's according to Wikipedia. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, the whole thing they have to change. Um, they have to basically say that's not real. The um the the um, Anakin part, um, basically because then, you know, the Ben, so- the Ben Solo, the Ben it's Solo like, like incest. Kiss is incest. Yeah, I mean that that's that's par for the course for for Star Wars. Yeah, so, hey, like, hey, like, hey, like, like, hey, like yeah. I said, apparently that shit happens a lot. Apparently that shit happens all the time. And like <laughs> revealing that one, shit. Re- re- revealing that one of the big relationships in the franchise is incest. It's peak Star Wars. Was a bad relationship. Hey, Should all I'm bad. saying is, uh, Pornhub most most viewed categories doesn't lie, so it is what it is, I guess. People like Star Wars, people like Pornhub. I don't know what to tell you. There's there's a big overlap there, evidently. Star Wars is cool. I hardly know it. Has anyone played Kirby? Yes, I Kirby. I have, I've, I'm not very far I though. I didn't have money for the first three months of the year. Shit, why didn't you just decide to be born rich, dude? That seems like you fucked up. I mean, apparently, apparently we were, That's and then the it. recession hit, and then we weren't. Why, why did you decide to be hit by the recession, dude? That's true. That's true. I should I should have made better choices. Yeah, I should have just decided. You know, not you know what started. You know the. Let's consider the official start of the of the um of the uh um the recession started on my birthday. So maybe I did choose to start the reche- recession. See, you made you made a conscious decision on your birthday. You woke up. You said like, you know, it'd be fucking awesome if everything sucked. I don't understand. But everyone has to hide it. But everyone has to hide it to me because I'm like twelve. <laughs> I wouldn't understand it. You don't know the power that you wield. K- Kyle, how, how's Kirby? I, I've seen my girlfriend maybe play like 10 minutes. It seems super chill. Just good vibes, give, given the suck to everything. Yeah, I'm not, I mean, I'm not very far, but it's it's enjoyable. It's, uh, the war in Kirby apparently is darker than the war in any Souls game. I did not know that that was a thing, but apparently that's Yeah, it's, it's pretty crazy. It's is there pretty deep Kirby lore? lore? Isn't he, like, oh, yeah. isn't he like, a, like an orphan? He's like a little baby and he's like just killing dudes and shit. Is Kirby a baby? He no, does he's no, not a baby. He, he does no longer kiss his homies, though. Uh, yeah, that's fucked games, up. He, yeah, in previous games, he used to kiss the homies before he gave them health, and now he does not. So it's pretty what a little bitch. It's fucked up, dude. Everyone knows you're supposed to kiss the homies before you uh, before you give them health. Everyone knows that. The I think the last thing we'll talk about, just because it's fucking warm as shit in my room. Has anyone else been playing Tiny Tina? Anyone else a Borderlands nut? Giant nope for me, dog. Giant. Remember, nuke. remember, I remember, what, remember what I said. Remember what I said. Remember what I said about uh, uh, twin stick shooters. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Um, so yeah, I've been playing uh, Tiny Tina's Wonderlands. It's more Borderlands. If you like the way Borderlands plays, it's just constant loot, leveling up characters. Um, they mix it up a bit now since it's in. Um, so story wise, you're pl- you are a character within the game. Within the game, uh, Tiny Tina is playing their equivalent of Dungeons and Dragons called uh, Bunkers and Badasses. So you're playing a character within the campaign. It's all like medieval based, but people still have guns and shit and they're, they're poking fun at it but gameplay wise you're using spells instead of grenades a lot of your skills are just less done technology based it's more magic um mm-hmm. and uh, so gameplay is absolutely fine it's even more refined than three so there's nothing to worry about there if you already liked borderlands gameplay as someone who thought three three's humor and writing was completely fucking unbearable when i first played three i'm just like am i getting old and i just no longer like borderlands humor because i remember loving the shit out of two two's a fucking funny game uh turns out no borderlands three was just not funny whatsoever just the writing wasn't great um no the writing here is good unless you're just not down for uh 
for wall breaking or fantasy themed uh stories aesthetics or humor uh it, it's it's a good time it's a good dumb shooter i'm playing it in between dying too much in elden ring so it's a good palate cleanser for fucking sure they're basically polar opposites yeah it's good dumb fun as, as a funny side note so this came out in march and horizon forbidden west came out in february ashley birch is voices the lead character in both of those games and giant point of uh, contention surrounding both of those games is that her character just can't seem to shut the fuck up. Which you know that, that's not that's not Ashley Birch's yeah. fault. That that's uh, that's the writing. That's whatever. I, I just think it's a funny little side note. She gives good performances for both. Yeah. I love them both. But I, man, it's like Aloy saying, "I should climb that. I should scan that." And then Tiny yeah. Tina's just constantly blabbing, talking off, whatever. It's just like shit. Ashley Birch can't catch a break. Yeah, man. It's not. It's not. It's not her fault that two genre-defining open-world games keep on happening simultaneously to their launch. <laughs> Horizon One got cucked. Freaking Horizon Two got cucked. Do you think? Do you think? Oh, uh, uh, do you think Breath of Wild Two is going to get delayed by like a good five years just in time for the new Horizon? <laughs> I hope so. I mean, I mean, <laughs> man, hey, there might be DLC next year, so that's why you got delayed to 2023, right? Shit. They should just do that. Have, have Breath of Wild 2 come out right on the right on the DLC. Fuck it. Purposefully do it. Do it. You, get, you get the switch. You get the switch T-shirt and and the Forbidden West. 